some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well now, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Cincinnati with Cincinnati MC Press, or otherwise known as Skunk Ape. Let's take a look at a previous video to find out why I like to call him Skunk Ape. And it was after that that I dubbed him Skunk Ape. But enough of the history lesson. Let's go ahead and look forward to the future and see what is in the present. Because in the present, we are going to uh, see this idiot... Uh, get owned by the cops as he attempts to interfere in their business as per usual. And as far as the future goes, now that I recall uh, giving him that nickname, I might also go ahead and make a YouTube short based around that so we can always remember it. In the meantime, let's all sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So this is a traffic collision, by the way. A car hit a pedestrian took off. That's fine. By the way, no yellow tape was up. This is a sergeant from the Cincinnati District 5 that decided to give me unlawful orders. Didn't feel like going to jail today, so take that into account. Wasn't the best night to go to jail, so that's why I didn't test it. But you bet your ass I'll be testing it in the future. See you in the next one. Oh, Skunk Ape, what is your fascination with going to jail? For that matter, what is the fascination with all these other frauders who want to go to jail? Me, personally, I've never been to jail, nor do I have the desire to go to jail. I've always wanted to improve upon myself in a positive manner, and going to jail certainly wouldn't help that cause. But to each their own, I suppose. If you want to be an idiot and go to jail, that's fine by me, but just don't involve me in it. Me? You're standing in a crime scene. Get out. You're in the middle of our crime scene. I'm sorry, I didn't see no tape. I apologize. Yeah, well, we got police cars. We're kind of busy. trying to get arrested so I've decided to leave this alone he obviously wants me to go back further it's like they don't got no yellow tape up for them the closet cream sign the crime scene complete bullshit I'm on a public roadway that's why I want you all to know this the three people that were standing there with no camera but I stand there with the camera mm, they don't like me funny how that works well gee mr. whiny skunk cape maybe it's because the other people we're not exactly trying to interfere with the uh, work that was going on. Because you know what? The EMTs and uh, firefighters and the police officers sure as hell wouldn't like it if somebody came up and interfered in an accident scene or a crime scene like this. I mean, come on now. As far as the yellow tape goes, do you really need all that yellow tape be wasted on people like you? Especially since... The uh, lights should be sufficient enough to show you that there's a issue going on here and maybe you should step back instead of trying to get close to it and interfere in what's going on. I mean, that's just common sense right there. But of course, you frauditors, especially you, Mr. Skunk Ape, don't have any common sense whatsoever. Well, I'm going to get closer then since he's not blocking this road off anymore. Now this officer's going to come over here and he's going to try to yell at me and when I'm just going to shut him down completely. Period. And he will be getting a complaint. But let's listen to what he has to, thinks he has to say. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh yeah, I'm sure the officer is going to be shaking his boots having to deal with Mr. Stinky over here.
there was no indicators that it was a crime scene. Down here and I told you don't come in. I asked if I can park my car. First off, this came out as a traffic collision. If I would have known there was a crime scene, I would not have got so close. You asked me to leave and I walked away. And listen to me. Okay? Stop a minute and listen to me. You pulled up by a police car. I said, no, you can't. You can't pull in there. I asked, and I said, yeah. go around that way. I, that's what I, I said, went, go around yeah. that way. And then I look up, and you're 10 feet away or 20 feet away from right where we're working on stuff. Yeah, there wasn't any tape up because we were kind of busy. Okay. Okay, it's just kind of... And I walked start, away. Listen to me. Mm -hmm. It's kind of common sense. If we've got the roads shut down and stuff, don't come in there. All right? Or ask somebody where you can be. Don't just walk into it. I, I didn't walk into it, but I you got close to it. it. You, I got close to it. You, you walked okay? past where I told you not to be. All right? I, I asked to pull in. There's a huge I, difference. No, there's not. I, I didn't have time to sit and have a conversation I with you about it. I know what I can and cannot do. Listen, I didn't have time to have a conversation with you about it right then because we were kind of busy. All right? I was as clear as I could be at the moment. Anybody else, any of the big three show up and I say, no, you can't come in here. They know what that means. They don't need any more explanation than that. Well, that's because the other big three that you're referencing are actual journalism outlets. Well, this guy's nothing more than an internet joke and a rather stinky one at that. Okay. What's your uh, name, officer? Thank you. Vehicles two zero three zero seven. Now, this is what you've got. This is Cincinnati, a sergeant who doesn't know how to crime scene works. You don't got tape up, it's not a crime scene, period. For God's sakes, they were out of here in a few seconds. The detective showed up. If it's a crime scene, a detective would have shown up. That was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, look at the little stinky frauditor. Are you butthurt because the officer came over and gave you a lecture on how to behave at a accident scene? Well, if you truly are butthurt about it, just go home and cry into your pillow. And I'm sure your stuffed animals that you've got surrounding your bed will comfort you as you fall asleep, sucking your thumb as you crawl into a fetal position and start crying. And I've got a question for you. Who are you to uh, say that you know anything about how crime scenes work, buddy. Because you know what? You are not a police officer. You are not a firefighter. And you sure as hell aren't a paramedic. So, where do you get off acting like that? At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one.